All right, I am just waiting for some files to move from my phone. There's a girl staring at me. <laughs> from my phone to my computer so I can go into the next Goodwill here and I just thought I'd come on and say hi. Um, I guess give you guys a little life update. We don't really have much going on. Um, we are getting ready to go on vacation here in a couple weeks. All right, anyway, like I was saying, uh, we're going on vacation here in a couple weeks down to Universal Studios in Florida. And I'm getting really excited. We usually go um, every other year. Lately, we've been going every year. Because um, Toddy, my boyfriend Toddy, he's going to be having to have a pacemaker um, installed here probably this summer. We go May 1st to see when. He's going to have to have it installed. Um, so once he gets that, he won't be able to ride roller coasters and everything anymore. So he's kind of, this is kind of like our our goodbye. To, I mean, we're still going to go. Like, even after he gets his, pace, his pacemaker, we're still going to go to Universal. Because that's just like our place. Um, but he just won't be able to ride any roller coasters or anything anymore. So, uh us and the kids are going to go and enjoy our few days that we're there. <sighs> I think the rain is about as calm as it's going to be, so I'm going to try to head inside. Because it's just, it's, I've been trying to wait to see if it calms down, but it's not, so I'm just going to go. Alright, we are here at the Jonestown Goodwill. Sorry for the weird angle. There's people all around me, but I need to get inside. So, let's head in. This is right inside the door to the right. They have their display here of uh, lovely furniture, very nice, very nicely displayed. Um, I was very impressed. Like <laughs> uh, this blanket here was really, really nice and poofy. Kind of like very 90s, I think. Grandfather clocks, I will have one one day. I don't have one yet, but I will one day. And then this is their wall of purses here. They had a lot to choose from. I think I probably should have picked that up for vacation, that crossbody bag. <sighs> yeah, right there. I should have picked that up for vacation. Oh, well, it's okay. We have what we need. We're all good. It's a little chilly in my office today, so if you guys hear the heater kick on a little while, that is what it is. It's my heater, but I will try to run it between films so that way you guys don't hear it. And then we go into some clothes here. Looks like women's dresses, clothes, things of that nature. A little try on mirror there with the three sides. Like, hi. <laughs> they had a big selection of clothes. That robe was very soft. My sister loves robes. So I have to always stop and feel, see how soft it is. <laughs> Blankets and curtains, things of that nature back here. And then some more clothes. I didn't really go down through the aisles too much, but just to show you the idea of the store.
And then we get back into their little corner here. And this was a lot of like Ohio State gear. And then just like teams in general. But the majority that I saw was Ohio State. Because you know we're in Ohio. So go Buckeyes. Um, of course they're going to have a little store. You know a little, a little corner to put all the Ohio gear in. So for all my Buckeyes. OH. And this is back in their back corner. Um, this is the, the new items that they have at the other stores, the storage containers, cleaning supplies, household goods, things like that. And then that wall there has some more new stuff in it and then it goes into some um, used items, different puzzles and uh, electronic, like smaller electronics kind of, and then it goes down into some hard good areas, some hard good items. And let me know what you guys think of my timing on the shelves with these. Um, I have been trying to go a lot slower and I'm kind of even counting to myself as I'm at the shelves to kind of get time for everything to focus and for you guys to see stuff. So if you don't mind, um, comment and let me know if you guys like this style or does it not look much different than the other? <laughs> These two little girls here, the left and little angels, um, I was so excited when I saw those because they're so cute. The one had, I think her head, that one, I think she had her head re uh, re-glued. Yeah. And then the other one had a, a, a wing reattached. So I left them there. Um, I just love finding them. They're just, they're so nostalgic and so pretty. But speaking of mishaps, I have a mishap coming up here very soon. Um, yep. <laughs> it just fell straight out of my hand. Just, just fell. I think it's because I hold it and my pinky holds the phone all day. And I was just kidding. <laughs> this is like my fourth store of the day. And it just was like, <laughs> and it just fell. So, took you guys on a little trip to the floor there. But nothing wrong with my phone. Still works just fine. No cracks, no anything. So shout out to Samsung. I love the variety of items that they have here. Um, no matter your taste of decorations, you could find something here. Like they, they have, they have modern items. They have nostalgic items. Um, they just, they have such a good selection of things. Um, it would be so fun to shop at if you're trying to decorate, like, you know, your first time with, with a holiday or your first apartment something of that nature like I I can't believe that I've never went to Goodwill before to do that because I'm not relatively new to Goodwill but um I didn't shop for decorations and stuff much that big red glass bowl there was flashed um I picked up the little license plate and I could see right through and see the paint peeling off of it. I 
little ladybug sculpt, like little figurines. They were so cute. That would be the one figurine that I would buy if I if I had bought anything. It was six dollars, but I do believe the blue was still half off in this store too, so it would have been only three, which wouldn't be bad. A hand painted bowl here is very pretty. This was some loose sight napkin holders with the shells on it, but it was pretty scratched up and beat up. But it's always neat to see the shells and how they're 3D and they're not laying flat. So like, you know, they didn't cut the shells or anything to put them in there. So that's good. It was cute. Blue and white. <laughs> see, I have an attraction for blue and white, for blue and white pottery. I don't know why, but I do. I love it. I just noticed that my picture up there, I think, is upside down. <laughs> oh. and this is their book section with some DVDs at the end. This is just there on the wall against, um, right at the end of the hard goods. It turns into the books, the movies, and then it goes into some artwork, and then another great big floor display of uh, furniture and items right in their front window. They do a really good job displaying it to drop. The butterflies was so pretty. It was so pretty. Just a poster, I do believe, but it was just, yeah. My daughter is in college right now for zoology, so she's uh, loves, you know, any sorts of animal, any animal related she loves. But see how pretty that is? Just the display in general, just all together. And then it sweeps right there in front of the store. It's just a really good display. Nice pieces and it's set up good. I love how I see myself in random <laughs> Random mirrors I could see myself sneaking past with <laughs> with my camera. I looked at this sheep here thinking maybe it was Jim Shore, but it wasn't. And these are some smaller shelves for hard good things that they had uh, right next to the long aisle there. They had just some probably three rows of shorter um shelves of hard goods which would just be like the glasses plates and then they had a couple of toys and then they just had a couple of like um items that you would just use at the house you know just odd and end miscellaneous things which i'll show you I should have looked at those prints, but the prints of the different exotic animals, I do believe are home interior. <laughs> I had, oh, I had some big pictures that had the cheetah print and everything on them. That was the style. At least that was what home interior was telling you was popular. <laughs> So they're salt and pepper shakers, except one said salt and one said cheese. So the pepper was missing, but it was cute. Little llama. A couple ice buckets here were in good condition. Sometimes you find them and they're very scratched up or they're missing lids or handles. But these two both was, was in decent condition. Look at me looking for a maker like I know what I'm looking for. Oh, This is the middle section that most of the stores have with the bigger items. Uh, big toys, big couches, things like that. 
I get drawn into the toys. <sighs> this was a Dora house, but now for the life of me I, to try to look it up, I cannot remember what it was called. I saw it when I was there and I, I just can't remember now to look it up to see what it is selling for on eBay. And these are still those smaller rows of shelves that have like toys and different things on it. So this is the health and beauty part. And I think it goes into crafts too. Yeah, see there's filling filler there for pillows and, st and dolls and stuff. So again, it goes into crafts. Huh, I just realized I have some of those baskets right behind me. <laughs> the white metal baskets. That's funny. I thought about getting that brown roll of paper, but it was, I think, four or five dollars. I take pictures of jewelry on it. That tends to be where my jewelry shows up best for my camera. Um, yeah. Starting to get into, to, into some toys here. And small electronics, little projector there. So this is the uh, miscellaneous home items that I was talking about a little bit ago. <laughs> Maybe it's the toys. This little thing here I thought was cool. It's one of those cat and jacks from Target. Um, different latches and things to open. I thought about getting it for Trey, but I think that I'm still thinking too far back because I think he would get through that in like a second. So it would be a waste of money for me to buy it. Ah, <sighs> bags of toys. There was one bag that caught my attention and I almost bought it. I took it all the way up to the cash register and I waited in line. If there hadn't been somebody in line, I probably would have bought it. <laughs> but it gave me time to think about it and I looked through the bag and I debated. So I ended up taking it back, which I think was a good, a good choice. So right here, I'm going back and forth between the two aisles. Uh, the hard, the home good stuff, and then back to the toys. It's in the same little section, but it wasn't very big, so I just popped back and forth real quick. But I paused it instead of moving, so hopefully, it don't make anybody motion sick. That's the bag right there with Thomas the train and train tracks and there was so much stuff in that bag they had all uh, they had so many different things it wasn't all just trains it was a big bag and the picker in me wanted to get it so bad I didn't take much time filming through here, the rest of it. There was a gentleman that had come in the aisle and was looking too. So I kind of felt a little rushed, but it's okay. I've been very lucky to not be in a store yet that's like very crowded. So curious to see on that day how that goes.
And then this is the other side. They have the new toys and new items. Um, just give you a quick road down of that side aisle there. And this is right near the checkout. This is looking back at their Easter display. This is just right in the middle. I just kind of wanted to show you what they had with the baskets and stuff. It was really pretty. Tons of baskets. I, I don't know if it'd be a buyout, I figure, but still, like, tons of baskets. I probably should look to see how much they are to let you guys know if they'd be cheaper there or cheaper at Walmart or Family Dollar or something. The next time I go, I will look because it'll be before Easter. I really thought that was pretty. It looked to be wood, but it was a lightweight resin like thing. And there was people right there on the other side of the table, which is why my phone is turned down uh, so much. And they had this cart sitting here at the end of the aisle, and I just kind of glanced quickly. I didn't really dig or anything, but I just kind of glanced. And then right here's the checkout. And then this is a bag of Christmas items. Some, uh, I debated buying it, but I'm like, no, I'll wait. If I go back, I'll see when it's half off. <laughs> It's March and I'm looking at Christmas items. <laughs> All right, done with Johnstown. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Okay. Oh, All done with Johnstown. My hair's getting deflated now. Oh. All right. All right, we are going to move on to Patascala. Hopefully, it's less rainy. I doubt it. But, and I'm very, very proud of myself because I didn't buy anything. You know, got vacation in a couple weeks. Have to save the money. But, Johnstown, Goodwill. Very nice people. Whoop. Very nice people. Uh, shift manager John and then Pamela was very nice. They helped me out immensely. Um, was very polite. Uh, you know told me to let them know if they needed any if I needed anything um, was just very nice they you know it, it's nice to be welcomed so much to a place you know they don't know you but they're so welcoming and it's so nice um, I've never been to Johnstown before I definitely will come back because it's a very nice town it's a very nice store the employees are what you know they they make it great so it's a nice store. They did have a good variety of items. Um, they had a lot of bag toys. That was the thing that I almost bought was a bag of toys, but I resisted and I left it behind. So that's okay. That's okay. Somebody else will get it and love it. So it's all good. But if you guys are ever in Johnstown, please come to the Goodwill. Um, they're in a little shopping center here. Very easy to find. Great little store. We are going to move on now to Pataskala, but that's going to be in the next video, and I will see you guys then.